okay, this is an interesting problem. We have this expression and we're asked to simplify it. So the way we're going to do it is to just use one simple fact that I squared is equal to negative one. So let's go ahead and start by writing this down and simplifying uh, as much as we can by using this fact. So we have I plus uh, I squared plus I cubed plus I to the fourth plus I to the fifth. And that's all being divided by one plus I. Okay, so this is equal to well, i is just i, we can't really do anything with that. i squared, we can use our super powerful formula, that's minus one. And then i cubed, we can write that as i times i squared, like this. And we do that because we know what i squared is. So basically, we're using this one simple thing to do all of it. Plus, i to the fourth can be written as i squared quantity squared. Properties of exponents say, you know, you would multiply your two times two, and that gives you four plus. And then i to the fifth, we can think of that as uh, i to the fourth times i, or even better, i squared squared times i, right? Because this one is i to the fourth. And then when you multiply these, you, um, you, know, you add the exponents, and that gives you five, which is here. And it's all over one plus i. Really nice problem, kind of fun. Okay, this is equal to so let's see, this is i minus, so here i squared is negative one, right? So this is gonna be i times negative one. So it'll be a minus one, minus, and then this one's in minus i. i squared squared, so i squared squared is negative one squared, which is one, right? This is negative one squared, because i squared is negative one. And then this one's going to be a one as well, right? Because it's i squared squared. So we're just left with the i. All right, it's all over. Wow, it's cleaning up really nice. Very good. Oh, gotta love it. Look at that, boom, 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 boom. Wow, wow, that's amazing. So we're left with i over uh, one plus i. And we can do more with this, right? We can do more. Remember, when you have a division of complex numbers like this, what you can do is you can rationalize. So basically you multiply the numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate, which is one minus i. So this is one minus i over one minus i, right? Really, really nice. Basically we're multiplying by one in a really clever way. So this is equal to, so now we can distribute the i. i times one is i, and i times negative i is negative i squared all over. Here we can use a familiar formula. If you have a plus bi, or we can just multiply, but let's use the formula. So a complex number times its conjugate is equal to a squared plus b squared. So here there is a one in front of the i, so it's just one squared plus one squared. Right? a squared plus b squared. This is i minus one over two. And we can break this up as i over two minus one over two. And typically, you know, we write our answers in the form a plus bi. So now what we can do uh, is we can write this. Ooh, ooh, I messed up here. This is a plus. This is a plus, right? Because i squared is negative one. So it's i minus negative one. So it's i plus one. Glad I caught that. Huh. Awesome. <laughs> so this is equal to one half plus i over two. And again, if we really want to write it in the proper form, like the a plus bi form, you would write it like this. One half plus one half i. So now it's written in that form, that that a plus bi form, which books typically ask for. So nice problem, um, you know, and again, the real key to this problem, I think, is just the beginning, just focusing on this. i squared is negative one, and from there, everything else follows. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.